Hello and welcome to the Mastering Flask video course by Pact Publishing. In this course, you will get an in-depth look at the Python Web Micro Framework to perform advanced web application development. This course was brought together by Jack Stouffer and Alexander Pudelin, and I'm Tori Clark, the voice for this course. Jack Stouffer has been programming in Python for five years now, and he has been creating websites for about seven, starting with toy websites written in PHP. His co-author, Alexander Putelin, has been programming in Python for about three years and has been professionally programming in different languages for more than five years. They both have GitHub accounts, which have some open-sourced Flask code hosted on it. Some frameworks like Django use batteries included approach, whereas Flask is a micro framework. Flask itself is very small and provides basics for developing web apps, but it is extensible. There is a strong community that provides extensions for handling other things, from DB support to caching. Now let's explore what we will be building in this course. Throughout the course, we will be creating an international movie database clone called the World Film Database. This app is rather complex. Each movie has its own page with the full cast listed. Each actor and director has their own page with links to every movie they have starred in or directed. Users can create an account which will allow them to leave comments on the pages of each actor or movie. The maintainers of the site have also created a blog to give users updates on any news involving the site, which users can also leave comments on. Overall, this web app has a lot of dynamic content based around relationships between many different entities. In this course, we will cover these topics. In the first section, we'll set up some necessary utilities and boilerplate code for the rest of the course. In the second section, we'll look at how to access the database with the necessary concepts required. The third section will cover the advanced features of Flask to display the various relationships to the end user. The fourth one will see us restructuring our app using Flask blueprints. In the fifth one, we'll make our app more secure by adding login functionality and permissions. We'll then create a RESTful API of our app in the sixth section. In the seventh one, we'll create an admin interface and enhance the functionality of our app. We'll then use the Flask extensions to speed up the working of our app in the eighth section. The ninth one will see us using Celery and understand how it is used in asynchronous programming. The tenth section will see us testing our app to make it more robust. And then finally in the eleventh section, We'll deploy our app to various platforms and weigh each one in that process. Awesome, isn't it? Now, this course has some prerequisites. This course assumes you already have an intermediate knowledge of Python 3.5. I also assume that you will understand enough of Flask's API to create a single web app. SQL databases are going to be used to great effect in this course, so understanding what they are and how to write SQL is necessary. Finally, it's also assumed that you have at least some understanding of how web technologies like HTTP, HTML, CSS, and to a lesser extent, JavaScript work. So, that'll be our web stack for this course. If you are unfamiliar with any of the technologies mentioned, I suggest you first watch some of the other courses or read some of the book in PACT's library to get you up to speed before you attempt this course. To follow along in this course, you will also need to have Python and pip installed, as well as a code editor of your choice. Also, to avoid complicating the videos, I will not be using an IDE in this course. So, without further ado, let's get started on this journey.